Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn even and odd numbers. Even number. As per the definition, it says that if there is 2 4 6 8 and 0 in the ones place then it is an even number or other way is that if a number can be put in the pairs of group 2 then it is called even number suppose we have any number let's say 4 1 2 3 4 and after that we have to pair this number into a group of 2 now we are left with nothing nothing is left when nothing is left then it is called even number then it is called even number suppose we have number 6 1 2 3 4 5 Six. Now pair it. This, this, and this. Nothing is left, so it is an even number. We have this. These four numbers. First number is four. Two, three, and four. So pair up. So yes, it is an even number. Next number is three. Now this one is left behind, so it is not an even number. It is not an even number. Next is that whenever we have two-digit number or three-digit number, whenever there is any two-digit number or three-digit number, make sure that you always count their ones place ignore all other digits you just have to see the number which is at ones place so here 8 is at ones place so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now pair up pair up so nothing is left behind so it is an even number next is 101 so 1 is at ones place so we cannot pair this up so it is not an even number so the number which can be put in a group of 2 then it is called even number and whenever we are given two digit number or three digit number make sure that you always count the digit which is at ones place we always have to see that number only next we come to odd numbers as per the definition it says that if 1 3 5 7 and 9 are at ones place then it is called an odd number or we can say if we cannot put the which cannot be put in pairs of group 2 they are called odd numbers suppose we have these four numbers and as i told you that we always have to look at ones place so here the number is 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 pair pair up one is left so it is an odd number it is an odd number next number is 940 zero zero is an even number why because if we talk about one it's an odd number because we cannot pair this up but if we talk about zero it doesn't even exist so it is an even number number is 602 so we will look at two two lines pair up nothing is left behind so it is an even number 771 one 
so one it is an odd number it is an odd number why because we cannot pair this up so it is an odd number so th whenever whenever there is any two digit number three digit number or any number we just have to look for the digit which is at ones place now let's do a do the small activity we have to circle the even number here first number is 27 7 is at ones place so instead of using lines instead of using line you can also use your fingers you can also use your fingers so 27 7 is an odd number so we will not circle it 14 4 is an even number so we will i will circle this number because it's an even number 89 9 it's an odd number 15 5 so it is an odd number 66 6 yes it's an even number 31 1 it's an odd number 70 0 yes it's an even number 0 9 is 9 it's an odd number 48 8 yes it's an even number 55 5 it's an odd number 93 9 is an odd number 82 2 is 2 is an even number so whenever we have to find out whether the number is odd number or even number we have to look at the digit which is at ones place and instead of using the line we can also use our fingers okay i hope you have learned how to do odd numbers and even numbers now practice these exercises at home Okay, bye-bye.